Hi, this is Jerry Bassett with Senior Editor of Snowmobile.com. We're on location with the brand new 2012 Skidoo. Uh, we have here the XRS. This is the real hot rod for, for Skidoo, it's the 800cc E-Tech. It also has the latest R-Motion suspension from Skidoo. And this one has the uh, the spring only offering of all the, uh, the instrumentation, the calibrations are here on the running board on either side. Uh, as a boy racer type model, this has more of a racing handlebar setup, uh, low windshield. The 800 E-Tech uh, was introduced heavily last season as being carried across the board in more models this year. The thing that you'll find with the E-Tech is it gives you the quiet, the fuel economy, and light on oil consumption. So in a way it's an answer to a four stroke, if, but it, it gives you the advantages of two stroke lightweight. Uh, in this particular model we found in the last year, the 800 uh, E-Tech is a real powerhouse. It's a uh, very good mid-range to top end and it's docile enough to drive around the trails like you would with the 600. The other thing that you'll notice is you've got uh, the fully adjustable clicker shocks in the front. You have a uh, more of a snowcross racer performance seat. There's a, a very much textured seat here that will grip you and hold you in the big bumps. But in the really big bumps that you're going to want to go through, you're going to be standing up. And with this riser bar here, that offers you the advantages of standing up comfort. And the R Motion has two settings. And in this particular case, you're probably going to want to have the more performance oriented one because this sled is designed for big bumps. Our motion suspension has got a really big job. Its job is to try and do the best of two worlds. Good low speed bump compliance so it's very, very comfortable and still have the ability to absorb big hits, nasty G out bumps. This snow will, this suspension will deliver both those uh, aspects that you're looking for, both those benefits that a customer really wants. It does it, but one of the keys is, the way it does it is having a separate spring from the shock. So we separate the, the spring motion ratio and the shock motion ratio to give you that good ride in the little trail stutter bumps, and then the, the shock comes into play to take the big nasty stings out of the bumps. So again, by separating spring and shock motion ratios, we can deliver the best of both worlds. We've also made this suspension extremely adjustable. You know, we've used, a, for instance, you look at the coupling block back here. Very easy to adjust by pushing the button and rotating the block. So you set it where you want it. More transfer here, less transfer at position number four. The suspension uses a drop link design here, and this gives us additional travel. Allows the suspension to collapse further up into the tunnel, like this, and it gives you more stroke in the suspension to absorb that bump. The front of the suspension uses a very long torque arm. This front arm gives you, this long front arm gives you a lot of control over your transfer. So far as when you hit the, the gas in the snowball in the middle of a turn, it won't tend to pick up the back and lift the front of the snowball up. This longer torque arm slows that down, more controllable. So now as you hit the gas coming out of a turn, the rider can control how well the skis stay planted with just the throttle position and how hard he moves his body left, right, or forward. This is for the serious snowmobiler that likes to challenge the deepest moguls, the big 1G soakers, and where he's not going to be the everyday out on the groom trail. He's looking for adventure. He'll be pounding in the ditches. He'll be jumping off uh, berms. Uh, wherever there he can get air, he's going to be getting air. That's the purpose of the MXZ XRS for 2012. Skidoo has updated it with a new suspension has the uh, top of the line E-Tech motor. And this should be, like I said, is a serious snowboarder's ride.